Once again, we welcome you to the Portland Sports Arena, the house of action for Championship Wrestling USA. Today, getting started already with uh, Mike Winner against Damian Knight, the wild man from <laughs> Hell's Kitchen, New York. We've got two wild ones here tonight. We've got Damian Knight, and of course, later on, we're going to have Sumito, the wild Samoan. Now, if you have not seen Sumito, don't you dare go away. They don't call him the Wild Samoan for nothing. Damian Knight and Mike Winter have been having their battles of late. And each one gets a little more furious, a little more out of control. Our referee tonight, Moondog Ed Moretti, is going to try to keep things somewhat in control. Well, I've got some great news for you. Big news about next Saturday's card. So you might want to get a pencil and paper, get ready to take down some information because we are getting ready for a summer spectacular. As we say before, if you are in the area, or even if you're not, make plans to get to the Portland Sports Arena Saturday night. See the action live starting at 8.30. We are located on Chautauqua Boulevard, right between Lombard and Columbia. Now Mike Winter getting the crowd going. Mike Winter, the, <laughs> the eternal cheerleader. These lights really bothering Damien Knight, as, as always. Damien with a strange haircut. That's what kind of goes along with his attitude. He just has a strange attitude. He wears dark glasses to the ring, but of course he has to take them off as the match starts. And... Uh, even when we were outside, remember the 4th of July spectacular we had? Even an overcast day was bothering Damian Knight's eyes. But doesn't seem to affect his wrestling style. The man can wrestle. He's a good athlete. And he has just uh, wrestled Mike Winter under the ropes, and that'll force a break. What a tag rematch we've got tonight. You talk about feuds and you talk about riots, you talk about battles, you're going to be talking about the tag match we're going to have today between the Bruce Brothers and the new team. We've got teacher and student teaming up, Jesse Barr and Carl Pope. Carl Pope is a man, a young man, who's certainly going to be making a name for himself in the world of pro wrestling in the very near future. Right now... He's still learning the ropes. And he's still paying some dues. But boy, I tell you, he's been holding his own in matches against the likes of the Bruise Brothers. This is going to be very interesting. The last time these two teams met up, Carl Pope more than held his own. In fact, Pope and Jesse Barr came away with a victory. And then we had some extracurricular scuffling and battling going on. A challenge was issued by Pope and Barr to meet again, and the Bruce Brothers accepted the challenge. And here we are today, once again, these teams meeting head on. And when I say head on, I mean head on. Damian Knight backing Mike Winter into the turnbuckle. A knee, another knee right into the solar plexus. Takes the wind right out of Winter. Grabs him by the scruff of the neck. Brings him out in the center of the ring. Going for a body slam. He's got him up and coming down. Look at him. Yes. And that takes the wind out of Mike Winter some more. Mike Winter laying breathless. But he rolls out of the way. And Damian Knight crashes head first into the mat. Also caught his elbow. And so does Mike Winter. Catches the elbow and the wrist of Damian Knight, twisting it back, exerting a certain amount of pain that Damian Knight is feeling throughout his entire body right now, especially the left arm, wrist, and hand. And Mike Winter, whoa, almost separating left arm from body. Tremendous smashes into the armpit. And now some more grinding on that arm bar. Rolls him up into a small package. One, two, and Damian Knight kicks out at the count of two. And have I told you it's good to be home at the Portland Sports Arena? It certainly is. We look for you down here, too. Come on home. Watch 
Pro Wrestling in person with us every Saturday night. We've got the finest action pro wrestlers you're going to find anywhere. And we've got, we got the best prices. This is the best. This is the best sports action you're going to find anywhere at any price. And we got the best price for you. Thanks to Sandy Barr and Championship Wrestling USA Promotions. Damian Knight. Once again in control of this match with Mike Winter. Picks a ball. Rope. Who's got who in a small package? Well, that small package came undone. And Mike Winter goes right back to work. A forearm smash into the chest of Damian Knight. Throws Damian Knight into the turnbuckle. And there goes Mike Winter into the turnbuckle. Damian Knight still trying to shake those cobwebs out of his head. Maybe those are cobwebs that he's got on his head there. It's hard to tell. Oh, Mike Winter trying to get to his feet. And Damian Knight doing a little romping and stomping. And uh, catches him again with that boot. And Mike Winter coming back. Oh, we're having a battle of feet. And two. Oh, that was close. Damian Knight just barely got out of escape from a three count. Mike Winter, forearm smash, another forearm smash, another one across the chest of Damian Knight. And now hurdles Damian across the ring into the train buckle and drives him in there like a tackling dummy into the turnbuckle. One smash after another, trying to tie him up, then whips him into the other turnbuckle, and Damian Knight puts his knee up and catches Mike Winter once again, right smack dab in the stomach, forces the guy to roll over and hook, and that's it! Damian Knight rolled Mike Winter over, hooked him, but the crowd saw something. Now, maybe you saw it, too. He, uh... He had a hold of the tights of Mike Winter. I don't know if you saw that. Damian Knight got away with one. He had a hold of, the, of Mike Winter's tights, uh, which kept, uh, which kept obviously kept Mike Winter in a position to be counted out. And that's exactly what happened. And the stand down into the books as a victory for Damian Knight over Mike Winter. We will be back with more right after this. Announcing another fabulous addition to the Interstate Pavilion, it's Sandy and Tito's Ringside Gym. This full-service facility is designed for the entire family and is open 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Ringside Gym is associated with Tito's Gym in Beaverton with affordable day, week, and monthly rates. The Interstate Pavilion features the area's only professional wrestling school. Learn all aspects of professional wrestling from the pros. Call or stop by the Interstate Pavilion, 1225 North Marine Drive. If you need to get to the airport, dinner, shopping, shows, meetings, or just across town, Bill's Town Car Service will get you there in style. We offer late model Lincoln Town Cars for all occasions. Bill's Town Car Service, 237-5941. Or find us in the yellow pages under Limousine Service. That's Bill's Town Car Service, 237-5941. Luxury transportation without the luxury price. 132 Cougar Loop Road, bed and breakfast right next to Yale Lake. Here it is, the bed and breakfast you've always dreamed of in a majestic cascade scenery. This 2,400-foot, possible 3,000-square-foot beauty offers peace and quiet to its guests next to Yale Lake. Menace from the Eight Caves and other wonderful...